I just got summon on my Model 3, and I've been playing around with it, and kind of figured out what the settings actually do. So um, I already have it enabled. It's under the autopilot menu. Summon beta enabled has you agree to some uh, stipulations considering it's technically in beta. You're given a couple different options. Uh, bumper clearance is the first one I kind of turned down a little bit. Eight inches is the lowest you can go. I think 12 is kind of comfortable. Um, I have a lot of stuff in the back of this garage, so I needed to drop it down a little bit. Summon distance I also bumped up from the default of 25, I believe, up to 30, just so the car comes out a little farther. There's plenty of space here, so no worries. I also enabled tight side clearance, um, which gives you a little more or less wiggle room, which is good for if you have more crap in your garage. Uh, require continuous press. Uh, this one actually I turned off. I tried it. Um, it's actually kind of nice if you're worried about the car crashing into a wall. You just hold down the button on the mobile app and then release and then the car will stop. Um, I disabled it um, so I can do the automatic in and out of the garage. I just have to press it once. Hopefully, um, we'll test that in a second, and it should exit the garage automatically. Um, I have auto home link enabled, so ideally, garage doors shut, cars in garage, I click button, garage door opens, car drives out, garage door closes, and vice versa. So we'll test those now that that's enabled. So basically, I'm just going to open the app, click the summon button at the bottom, and I am presented with two options, uh, either forward or reverse. Since the car is backed into the garage, I'm going to go ahead and click forward and see what happens. So the car is presented with an issue since the door is closed. It will try to get as close as possible. And then it issues the home link command. This opens the door, which takes a couple minutes. Once that is open, it sees that it is free to pull out. So it will slowly check its edges. The entrance to the door uh, apparently was a little close, so the car had to turn around it. Um, but other than that, it's a straight shot. It's going to pull out a car's length from the garage. Then it should stop. There we go. And then it's going to issue the home link command again to shut the door behind it. And then it will turn off and wait for the driver to come in. Pretty straightforward. Seems to work pretty well too. So the obvious next choice for testing is seeing if the car can back up into the garage. So I basically pulled in front of the garage, lined the car up, got out, and pressed the reverse button this time. So theoretically you should pull into the garage, park, and then shut the garage door. On reverse, it does show the rear view camera, which is kind of nice. Obviously you don't see it unless you're in the car, which you shouldn't be if you're using Summon, but gives us a nice view. So with my garage, there is a lip at the front, um, which I assume most garages have, and it does stop when it hits those and very slowly pushes the accelerator to make it over. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any problems. All the testing I did, it went right over. So. Once it's as far back as it can get in the garage, I did lower my bumper clearance, so it did get pretty close. Uh, it'll issue the home link, home link command and go ahead and close it for us. So, all in all, works great.